Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 2nd of February. We have a load of updates and we have a load of new mods. The updates are as follows. From top left, the John Deere 7000 Planter by Sloyd Chairs Modding, the TLX 9000 Semi, by Zanarko, that's got some new decals and stuff on that, it looks fantastic. The Craner 2700 by BGamer003 and Bergmeister. The Pickup 1969 Brazil by Conta Camigo Modding, that's got some new backs that go on that. The Lizard Sirocco by 76 Max. The Lizard Suncut Pack by FSH Modding. The TLX 488 Foot Enclosed Trailer by 82 Studio, Zanarko and 82 Studio, same person. The Man TGX Crusher Pack by HR Forst and Farzoigbau. The Massive Ferguson 7700S by STV Modding. The Metal Tech PP Pack by Melody98. The New Holland CR690 by Rick Black Label TWD Modding. The Medium Pull Through Workshop with Lift Pack by Dash Modding. The Large Pull Through Garage Pack by Dash Modding and GeForce Modding. The Double Door Garage by Vanquish081 and Pistai. And the self made 800 kilogram weights by Rick Black Label TWD Modding have all had updates today. So, in front of me, we have got the new fence pack. This is by Sphinx. We have a gate, like so. We have a post. Then we have these wall sections. Well, that's a bit weird. Once they're connected together, you won't know. So, we have a wall section like this. We have a double wall section like this and we have a corner section then those are all duplicated with different um, inserts I guess within those wall sections we have got the S set the P set the H set the I set the N set and the X set the X has got a wire mesh like chicken wire I guess in between it the end set is wooden boards. Then we've got the more like picket fence, so light, more pine coloured, with the maybe slightly darker stain one in front. Then we've got the lattice work one, and the one at the front that doesn't have anything. I like these, I've always said this with placeable fences, they need to be quite chunky and wide, especially on console, because placing them together can be really problematic and and hard to kind of get the joints to line up if it's very very narrow and that kind of thing so it actually works really well texturing's nice i like the fact there's quite a few different options i like the the you know the lettering to spell out sphinx <laughs> as i was it was one of those weird things i started writing them down i thought i better write them down so i remember them as i'm writing them down thinking hang on a minute each one of these is two slots and then it drops down 1.02 megabytes to download for the entire pack under placeables and decoration so we've got the metal gate for 250 pillar for 50 fence 4 meter 100 8 meter 200 uh, and then the 4 meter corner section is 150 those prices i think are the same as we go through each of the packs 100 200 oh no it's 200 because you've got the extra fence panels i guess haven't you yeah yeah um and then like i say they're all two slots as you go up which then drops down to one as we go through the pack but, um yeah very nice indeed very useful moving on from there we have got the polish wells which are right here these are seasons ready i believe them the pictures on the website on the mod, mod hub show them with snow on them uh, this are uh, 5.91 megabytes download this by bar t minus five slots and minus four slots i think it was that way round. they are under decoration so i thought initially okay they're just placeable wells for decoration but you can refill water from them i filled up one of the water tankers we've got today from it or water tanks the trigger's quite narrow and you have to get quite close to them to get them to work but they do work closer you get up the more detail you see from a distance they look fairly plain but actually when you get up to them yeah not bad at all so these you'll find ignore what i said a minute ago these you'll find under miscellaneous 
under miscellaneous they say decorative object that's what threw me i think they are under miscellaneous yeah 1200 for each one uh like i said there were five slots five slots and four slots respectively and yeah cause it says decorative object I thought, okay you can't get water from them but you absolutely can so that's the polish wells by bar t next we've got this colossal structure this is the multi-fruit silo this is 1.53 megabytes download five slots on console this is by yakup 70 it's five million liters for every single thing that it will take and it takes pretty much everything interesting as well slot counts low megabyte downloads low space it takes up fairly small because it mostly goes kind of up really texture is nice nice big open uh, area to put in nice high pipe for collecting out this you'll find under silos there you go the mop through silo 480,000 to buy and it takes I say, pretty much everything five million liters of each not bad at all that's by Jakub 70 moving on we have got the old polish house which is this one here and we've got the modern decorative house these are two separate mods by the they are by the same modder these are both by gold fox the first one is 17.14 megabytes download the second one is 16.69 40 slots and 29 slots and these are decorative these are not sleep triggers and they are incredibly detailed the, you know the level of detail on this is amazing they do have light switches in various different places there we go and then this one has one in the back little patio area with a barbecue balcony we've had a few modded buildings by gold fox that's nice i do like that and then light switch on the front here now these aren't under um farmhouses because like i say they're not sleep triggers these were i'm just checking on my list because often i make a note no they were miscellaneous so there you go, the old Pol Polish house is 10,000, the modern decorative house is 35,000. Well, that's the one that's um, 40 slots, and that one is 29. Um, but yeah, they're there. If you're looking for a decorative house, that may be what you're looking for. Next up, behind there, we've got the Implement Shed Pack. This is by Dash Modding. As we've already seen, Dash Modding's had a couple of... It's, it's, his hers their their mods what's they say their mods their mods updated today we have got in this pack different colors so this white and i think there's a red there's a gray blue we'll see as we have a look and each one of those there's a small and a large and as you can see these are lined up at one end should be if i did it right lined up pretty much yeah pretty much accurately and you'll see the larger one extends further that way because each of the doors on the larger one is much wider i like these translucent doors as well now these have automatic exterior lights but they do have a light switch inside it does say at night i love that the way the light shines off those panels that's cool um, this lights up at night so you can see it they're not going to turn off now there we go light switch for turning it on and off all the doors open nice texturing nice size I don't know why I was so, so surprised by that isn't it weird isn't it how something just catches your eye and then you start thinking have I seen that before and it, yeah, maybe I have but I mean it's the first time it's kind of maybe the lights just in the right place for catching that as it goes but as you can see on the larger one the doorways are wider I think the height might be about the same, but the doorways are definitely light, uh, larger, with the light switch being exactly the same place down that end. Under sheds. So we've got the white implement shed, 25 grand. These are, how much were they? Three slots each. The pack itself is 51.26 megabytes downloads, so fairly high. 
I think the pack's quite a lot because you've got them all individually. I guess if you had just the white implement shed and the large one and then a colour option within that, maybe. I don't know how that would work with a placeable building, though. I don't suppose it does, does it? You don't normally get configura or configuration options. But anyway, so we've got standard and large, 25 grand, 35 grand, and we've got it in blue and red and green and grey. Are your options on those? So we go. The large, the implement shed pack by Dash Modding. Next, we have this little stump grinder. This is the Lizard Carp. It is 5.83 megabytes download, five slots on console. This is by Pisa PL and Tom Sky. This is under forestry equipment. Very nicely detailed. The chains look like chains. The sticker on the front isn't blurry at all. Got almost like a little bit of chipping along the edge of the box section there. Very nice. So under tools and forestry equipment, there you go, the Lizard Carp, 3,000 to buy, only 40 horsepower required, so that's not too bad either. Options available, we can change the design colour, turn anything on that palette, like so, and the main colour to one of those, like so. Then go front or rear, L1, and right stick side to side, moves it side to side. L1 and right stick up and down, will move it fairly slowly towards the ground or back up again. Or if you want to do L1 and circle, it automatically raises and lowers it. Normally you would have it in that position for operation. Then do cutting, L1 and square, turns it on, PTO vibrating there. Very nice. Let's go and check it out. Cutting a stump, shall we? Tree stump is just there. Now, what's concerned? Because it doesn't actually raise any higher than that. I suppose it's going to depend on what vehicle we're using and how high the three-point link is. But it did seem to go over okay. We'll turn it on. There you go. Tree stump is gone. Didn't take too long. Only requiring 40 horsepower means you can use it on pretty much anything. Very nice indeed. That's the Lizard Carp by Pisa PL and Tom Sky. Next, we have this. This is the Tado 3000, or Lizard because it's now on console, but the Tado 3000. 3.01 megabytes download, four slots on console. This is by Conta Camigo Modding. Um, this is a fuel container trailer. This will take fuel, herbicide, liquid fertiliser and I think water. It doesn't do milk, I don't think, if I recall correctly. Uh, this, I think, was under miscellaneous. I don't think there's any colour options either. There you go. The Lizard 3000, Tado. 5000 to buy. Yeah, it does um, herbicide, liquid fertiliser, water and fuel options available there are none there you go that's by Conta Camigo modding I've just noticed that's peculiar a mod in the mods hub that's just popped up that I didn't see earlier how did I miss that never mind sorry I'm talking to myself I will, I will get it sorted out it will be put onto the end of the list don't you worry so Next, we've got the small water trailer. This is by Daniel X321 and QWERTY and Sizek. It is 7.03 megabytes download, four slots on console. Uh, this is for water only. I think you find it under animals. It's a 1,200 litre, I think it was, or it might be 1,005. I'm sure it's 1,200 litres. If we go to animals, there you go, the water trailer, yeah, 1,200 litres, 4,000 to buy, four slots for the first one, that which drops down to one, 
options available we can change the main color which is the chassis frame to anything on that palette like so design color changes the tank like so then we can change design one or design two just changes where the hazard triangle is warning triangle hazard warning triangle and then we've got wheel setup standard lizard one just changes the tire um, tread a little bit lizard two then there's a three changes the hub back to the standard tire changes the tire, tire tread a little bit up to a slightly more knobby one lizard five then back to standard again those are your options that was what i filled up from the little wells over there and it filled up no problem at all next We've got these, or this. This is two variations of the same vehicle. This is the Fiat 180 Brazil. Now, I thought we'd already had this, but it might not have been the 180 we had. This by Cola and JB Art Mods. It is 23.27 megabytes download, 33 slots on console. We have the option of uh, a flatbed choice. With the sides up on the flatbed, you can have it then into a configuration where it's a 3,500 litre tank, I think, container. Or you can have it with the extended sides, which takes up to about, I want to say a 19. Again, my mind's just blanked, but um, we're going to check it in a minute anyway to have a look. Nicely detailed. We do have a rear axle that raises and lowers. I think that one I've already lowered. That one is raised. Uh, straps are on this, but they go under the deck until you put something on, then they'll go over the top of it. Under vehicles and trucks. 21 grand for the base model, and it's only 180 horsepower, and hence the Fiat 180. Pops up out the ground like magic. But for that price, it's pretty good. You know, you, you, most trailers cost more than that when you first sort of start out. Rim colour, we can change to anything on that palette. So we've got a grey, we've got a silver metallic, which is quite a nice option on there. But anything on that palette. Main colour, changes the main colour. Then design colour. Now this was what I was trying to work out, because I thought it was a cover option, but there wasn't. I was trying to work out what changed. I thought it might be the bumper, but I don't think that did either. If I change the design colour to something bright, let's say pink... I can't actually see anything that has changed that's gone pink. And I'm pretty sure I didn't get an option for a cover, but we'll have a look just in case. So we've got the option then. At the moment it's on bale loading wagon, which you can put the sides down on. You can then have those side panels kind of get filled in and you've got a 3,800 litre capacity. And then we go up and it's 19,400 litres is the larger one markers no or yes and that's those side bits either side of the cab like so then we've got mud flap one which is two separate mud flaps or mud flap two which puts a one one right across the back then you've got embellishment on the back the rear lights we can have standard we can have a three orange a three red a five orange or a five red oh there you go cover so how did i miss that before that's obviously the cover that's going to be pink and gaudy, but never mind. So we'll set up. We've got standard. Now, that comes standard. There are 20, there's way over 20 different configurations of rims. So we've got standard, hubcap one, and then that scrolls all the way through up to, I think it's 20 different variations. Then we go into iron wheels. There's a load of yeah, iron rims, and we go for a whole load on the iron rims as well. And then back to standard. So there's about 22, I think it is. Yeah, 22 or 23, but yeah, there's a few choices there. Then cover, there we go. The cover is the design colour. That looks revolting. Why would anybody do that? Anyway, those are your options. What does it sound like? That's rather quick. Let's turn it off again. It gets to idle very quickly. Lights and off again. I think I went for the orange on the back. As you can see, we do have the option for tip side, uh, back, left, right, and back to back again. Horn. 
Reverse alarm is one of those ones, and this changes a lot. You're definitely going to know that this vehicle is reversing. In cab, very nicely detailed. Little sleeper bunk on the back there as well. Nice, almost like velour look inside there. Carpeted interior. Unloading on this one. L1, R1. <coughs> Excuse me. And unload, and then you obviously got left and right. It doesn't tip, but the side's open to do that. Let's turn that one off. And if we switch to this one. The options that you saw on the other one don't work on that one because it's the full back. This one, L1, and right stick side to side puts that side up. It's fairly slow to go, but it does go. Right stick up and down does that side. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. And then L1, uh, R1, and right stick up and down does the rear bed. This does have a trailer hitch, and it does work. And this one I haven't put the rear down, but L1 and X to lower axis, which is axle, lowers that rear axle down to the ground, like so. There we go, that's the Fiat 180 Brazil by Cola and JB Art Mods. Uh, next, we've got this. This is the PSE12 slash 5a this is by fssa modding team it is 27.06 megabytes download 24 slots on console the slot count is because of the detail on the texturing and the grain of the wood and those kind of things there are a few options available on this too what i wanted to show you which i often do is put stuff into them just to make sure this has different capacity configurations and that's the largest capacity if you go for the largest capacity it makes it a forage trailer only so i've got wood chips in that at the moment if you go for the lower capacities, it takes pretty much everything. If you go for the very largest one, it will it will just become a forage trailer for things like straw and hay and grass, silage, wood chips, but it won't take grains and things like that. So it's something to be aware of. Swivel axle on the front is incredibly nicely detailed, as you can see. This is under tools and trailers. PSE 125A, 2800 to buy. As I say there, it looks like it takes pretty much everything, which it does, depending on the configuration. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. Main colour changes the body of it. And then design colour changes the chassis. Let's go for blue to make it stand out. There we go. Capacity, 5100 litre. 7100 litre. Then if you go for the 15,500, that's when it becomes a forage trailer only. And then we can go to a bale loading wagon, which has straps on it, if you want to go for that as an option. Then we've got the option of metal or wooden. So you can have wooden panels or metal panels, depending on which you'd rather. Then we'll set up, we've got standard. We've got white rims. So if we go... Menus. So that's standard. It's almost like beaded. Well, not beaded exactly, but it's got white rims on there. Uh, and then we can go up to mud guards on the back, and then mud guards and white rims, and then back to standard again. Those are your options available. This does tip rear, left, and right as well. There you go. The PSC 12 5A by FSSA Modding Team. Uh, next. We have the Lizard Coral 2000L. This is by FBR Modding, 9.34 megabytes download, six slots on console. This is a 2000 litre fertil liquid fertiliser or herbicide sprayer. I like the sort of rough, dirty kind of look underneath on this. Even the detail onto, onto the nozzles as well. Very nice indeed. So, under tools and crop protection. 20,000 to buy. 65 horsepower required. 14 metre spread and it will run at 8 miles an hour. As I said, it will do 
a liquid fertilizer or herbicides options available you can have it standard like this or you can have it with auxiliary headlights or with blue led headlights which i think i went for then we've got smooth tires or retreaded those are your options unfolds like so I don't think we can raise or lower that oh hang on no I'll take that back we can raise and lower the boom I was going to say I'm not sure if we can but the boom does raise and lower lights yes I went for the blue on the back there it's an interesting feature to have I like that turn it on like so oh that's got almost now I'm I said, am I dreaming this I'm going to have to pay atten more attention to when I use... I don't use sprayers all that often, but I, we've had that on one just recently where it comes on almost in sections as it would do because it starts pumping from the middle and gradually works out. And then when you turn off, it turns off from the middle. I mean, it's not section control. I love the fact the blue lights on that are making the spray on that look blue. Again, simple things. <laughs> Please, simple minds, don't they? Anyway, that's the Lizard Coral 2000L by FBR Modding. I've come back to the Lizard PSE um, because I I felt bad. I didn't show you unloading. It does tip with animation. I just thought it's only right that I should really show it. Um, and then tip side left. Tip side right is the opposite of this, but it does tip completely. Uh, some of the trailers don't always tip but that does actually tip as well. Okay, what we've got next, I wouldn't say, I'll turn the lights off, I wouldn't say it's a game changer, but I've always said before, I like when you get something that's a bit different. This is certainly it. This is very different to what we're used to. I like the concept, I like the idea, and I like what it does. Um, this is the uh, the lightweight and when it says lightweight it's not light as in it's not heavy it's got lights on it including a beacon which is very cool quite a few different configuration options on this as well it's only 1.93 megabytes download three slots on console this is by mantrid now mantrid has bought us the roadrunner plus and a few uh, what was it the that big auger wagon as well an absolute master at optimizing files and that kind of thing. This is, I say quirky is the wrong word. You'll see what I mean in just a second. It looks like some kind of alien type thing. Anyway, this you'll find under weights. There you go. It's only 1,200 to buy. Options available. You can change the main color to anything on that palette. And we've got options of metallics, chromes, and satins. I mean, that light green is rather nice. Uh, design colour changes all the other bits and bobs on there. Let's go for something that stands out. I know it's going to be horrible, but let's go for pink. That's not as pink as I thought it was going to be. Um, in the certain light, it obviously shines a little bit more. Then, we've got design colour, and that's for the telescopic sections. You can either have it the same colour as the main colour, or the same colour as the design colour, or black. Oh, it's a chrome as well, so chrome too. Then we've got the actual weight itself. So 100 kilo, 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, 1750, 2000, 2500, 3000, 3500, and back to standard. Now, realistically, if you don't go into a configuration point or your workshop, you think this is you only need one weight for everything, just go in and swap it around. Or you can have multiple ones, it really doesn't matter. On the top, we can have a beacon, yes or no. Then lighting shadows, yes or no. Now, you have to be careful on this because it does say in the mod hub, shadow notice. Casting shadows may adversely affect game performance on some systems, including consoles. If you experience poor frame rates or stability issues, please reconfigure the shadows off in the shop. So if you're worried about having any configuration issues, any problems with stability, frame rate, turn the lighting shadows off now that's part of on the roadrunner plus that's now got shadows in the lights which is amazing and it works on this too 
but it may cause an issue. If you're in any doubt, I would switch it off, but that's up to you. Then we've got lights set up. You can have standard as it is, which has got three lights on either side. You can have front only, front and sides, back only, back and sides, none on the sides but front and back, or none at all. So if you don't like the light ID, you don't have to have it. Um, and then we've got back decals. If we swing it around here. You can have them standard, large, or none at all. Those are the options. So what does that actually mean? Well, here's the clever thing about it as well. You've got a three-point link this side. So this is the back. That's the front. However, if you want to use it like that, and then you can have a trailer hitch on there as well if you want to. If you put it on the back of your vehicle, that could be a trailer hitch, front of the vehicle, trailer hitch. That's not a problem. But if you've got a vehicle with a trailer hitch, that becomes a trailer hitch to trailer hitch connector, which means this weight is now compatible with wheel loaders, telehandlers. There's a whole list of various different things on here that it says it will connect to. Um, telehandler, front loader, wheel loader, skid steer loader, pretty much anything with a trailer hitch, that can then become a weight for. That's why I grabbed this, because I thought I'd just show you. I have gone for a pretty heavy weight on this, to be fair, but if I go that way, it hooks up, you even get the, the cable connects, beacon, and if you put the lights on, that's pretty cool with the lights. But we can also rotate them, L1 and X. So depending on whether you've got this in the front or the rear of your vehicle, you can swing those lights around to give you more light in whichever direction you want to have more light in, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I think it's the R1 and right stick coming down. I won't imagine that. Oh no, that's not one. Oh, there we go. L1, R1 and right stick up and down extends those right up. Which gives you much further visibility. So you're getting that from your weight. So you can increase your, your lighting on your vehicle by using the front weight. If you don't want that, bring it all the way back in and it will just stay right down there. That's brilliant. And if you don't want it on the back of a vehicle like this, you can then just use the three-point link over on the front or rear of a tractor or anything with a three-point link as well. That is pretty cool. So there you go. That's the light weight by Mentrid. Very nice. Moving on. Uh, what are we going to do next? Let's do this one. This is mixing things up. You're welcome. Uh, this is the Robert or Robert uh, Evolumix 2-30P by Simulagri Modding. Now, it's a mixing wagon. Okay. But this is an evolution of the mixing wagon. Because you can have a whole load of different options on this. It's a 30,000 litre mixing wagon. It does have some features on it that in the real world it uses. There's a little water tank there, and you can have a little rail around the outside at the top, which I think jets water into cl for cleaning. I think it might be. Or it might even be for, well, would it be for adding molasses? I'm not sure about that bit, bit exactly. But we've got a little conveyor on the side, this side, which you can have or don't have to have. You've got a bit on the back here you can have for spreading out the back, if you want to spread out the back. We've got a regular unload chute here. So if you're running down along a trough to put feed in, you can just unload that side. But we've also got, if you've got straw in here, it's got a straw blower. So you can put your bedding in. Now you can put bedding in with other ones as well. But the fact is actually got a blower in there. So you can, you can drop bales in. So it's a feed mixer, bale shredder, blower combination. Does a bit of everything with a pretty good capacity too. And it's really, really well made. It looks brilliant. I mean, Simulagri stuff always is. I mean... Honestly, I, I really like Simulagri modding stuff. So, this is under Animals. There you go. Evil Umix 230p. 70 grand to buy, 90 horsepower. Now, it's fairly expensive for a mixer wagon. But then when you consider the trailed line, I mean, that's 45,000. So it's a bigger capacity. That one's only 18,000 for 53 grand. So for 30,000 litre capacity, yeah, I think that's... 
that's okay, isn't it? 21.01 megabytes download, 17 slots on console. <coughs> Excuse me. Options available. We can have it standard. We can have it says like watering. I don't think there's actually an option for it to do any water. I don't think it takes any water. At least I couldn't figure out that it did. Um, and then you've got tube around the top. And then you can have watering and tube or off if you don't want those. Then you've got without conveyor, which is this side, or with conveyor. Again, don't have to have it. It will just tip left or right. If you don't have it, we can have it with a conveyor if you wish. And then you've got rear option without with a chest without gives you an opening on the back which is fine stuff will come at the back with chest or you can have it then with spreading which sprays it out a little bit more out the back too which is very nice now it comes in the blue you can't change the color of that we are still having that issue i think it's because i've still got the add-on straw harvest on or at least enabled on this map because i put straw in here to test out the straw blower and it immediately changed the straw to pellets which is frustrating but it's not the end of the world really now if i open up the help window so as you can see you've got the option there for mixing ratio 30,000 litre capacity you can either do silage and hay to mix up your total mix ration you can do silage hay and straw to mix up your total mix ration it's up to you and when you've got all the bars at the bottom there in the green you know you've got a total mix ration and at the bottom right it will come up total mix ration i've just got straw in at the moment because i wanted to show you all of the various functions we can turn on the mixer wagon by pressing l1 and x which actually turns the uh, screws on inside and mixes from the inside obviously you can't see that at the moment but now if we zoom in a little bit i'm trying to think of the best angle so l1 and right stick side to side swings the blower side to side and then up and down on the right stick brings it up or down so it will come to you in that position and you can just squirt the stuff out and it will go um i think the McHale blowers do this as well i saw on tom pemberton's doing that so it'll go straight down that shoe or you can bring it right the way up and you can spread whatever it is you're doing all the way out uh then r1 and right stick side to side oh yeah that was another feature i really like we've got this so you've got the capacity on that little um, display but what's great is R1 and right stick side to side you can rotate that round so from in cab you can move that to whatever position is more comfortable for you whichever way you look round so you can see the capacity and how much you've got in there from that which I think is brilliant now if I go um, R1 we've got tip side back tip side front tip side left tip side right if we go to tip side front, that let's just back out again, is for the nozzle. So if I unload now, it will come out of there, which I can control up or down, left or right, however I want to. Let's stop unloading there. If I go to tip side left, it will unload from the back there as if you're going on a trough, like so. If I go to tip side right, it opens up the conveyor and unloads like that or tip side back depending on what you've got on the back you can fill up a bedding area or whatever it is you're going to put on the back like so so we've got a few different options on how we unload this thing a few different options of what it looks like i say 30,000 litre capacity is not to be sniffed at either i really do like that display the rotating display as well but um yeah very cool bit of kit that that's by simulagri modding now this was going to be the last of the mods i can't believe i missed one there's a new map out today as well which i'm really interested in looking at it's called mod test map and from reading the description it's going to be right up my street it could come in incredibly handy but before we get to that let's look at this this is the heath super chaser qm extra this is by arm team it is 9.59 megabytes download which is pretty good it is 13 slots on console and we've got two different options on this this will do regular bales 16 of 
or it will do 10 Heston bales. And it does say required mod is the um, Heston Big Balers by ARM team. But this is something a bit different. It's a semi-automatic bale loader. So it's mechanical, not automatic. And even like some of the mechanical ones we've got in game already are fairly automatic. This is semi-automatic. And it looks very, very different. Again, that's why I like it. Will it load bales like other bale loading trailers do? Yes, it will. But it's different. And that's what I like. So, under baling technology... We've got the loader QM extra of 40 grand. That does 16 standard bells, is 13 slots. And you've got the loader QM extra Heston, also 40 grand, 13 slots. That'll do 10 Heston bales. Options available on this, we can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. The main colour to also anything on that palette, so you can fit it in with whatever you're doing. It's entirely up to you. We've got the option of Trelleborg and Michelins. Trelleborg, standard, wides, twin radials and back Michelin cargo XBib HDs XBib HD wides uh, XBib wides and then back then we got without grippers default grippers or I went for the wide grippers and then without again and then you got without beacon oh hang on without beacon or with beacon which puts a beacon underneath at the back those are the options for it. So, let's hook up and have a bit of a fiddle around, shall we? So, I'm going to open this because we're going to need it. I've got my um, Logitech Heavy Equipment side panel plugged into my PlayStation. That's how I managed to get the menus to come up and down without too much hassle. So, we've got various different things that need to be opened and closed here. So first, we want to unfold the bale loader. So that swings it to one side and prepares it for collecting bales. However, there's another step. If I then go R1 and my right stick forwards or backwards, I can extend that bar to bring it out even further, like so. So now we really are ready for collecting bales. L1 and right stick up and down brings that front axle to the ground to level the whole thing up it adjusts the tilt and just makes it a little bit more level on the ground which is kind of how you want it like so uh, then we want operating position flicks that over like so it's a lot to do and then we need to put it into it's ready for collection so you lift or lower the loader which does that now we're ready to pick up a bale now one thing I have had a problem with, I haven't been able to get the straps to work. Now, it might be something I'm doing wrong. Now this one picks up the bales this way. So as you see, it's kind of an auto loader because it does that, which is cool. And then we'll go and we'll get a second one. If I can line up on it. Like so. And it does that. But it leaves the collector, the collector, the pickup in that position. This is why it's semi-automatic. Because what I've got to do now is L1, lift or lower loader. I press that twice and it puts it back into that position ready to get the next one. So it's not completely automatic. There's still some amount of operator um, input required. Which actually, I quite like. I think we, we do get into the habit of like, you know, auto loading quite a lot and this is somewhere in between now I'm not going to put them all on but what I did find from this position we do have straps R1 and fasten or unfasten tension straps now I don't know if that's if you want to use it as a regular bale trailer because in this position I tried folding it I tried putting it in a transport position if I put transport position now what it does it folds that away and it clamps the bales either side to stop them moving anywhere but I still couldn't get the straps to go over the bales. Not quite sure why, just the way it was. Uh, and then what I can do now is R1, I can bring that back in. Uh, then I want to fold bale loader. Why is that not folding? There we go. Puts it back into that position, and I'm okay for transport, which is all very lovely. That's it, we'll take 16 or 10 Heston. 
Then when we get to wherever we're going, we come to unload. L1 and triangle opens that up, tips up into position. Then we unload the bales. It's a nice somewhere in between. I, I, I like it. I like the design. It's different. I think we do get into that habit of making everything very automated and I think I'm very guilty of that at the moment because I'm playing on Eureka Farms and everything's quick and fast and massive and you know but there's something to be said for slowing things down a little bit so I want to put that platformer back into its ready for operation position like so. I think I've covered all of the movements all of the very different things that open and close that all might need to be folded back into place where it might do it itself but yeah very nice bit of kit that the Heath Super Chase QM Extra by ARM team oh there you go it does fold it away very nice indeed now we have one last mod but you'll have to bear with me a minute because I'm to go away and come back and reinstall it when I come back none of this stuff will be here um, because I don't save my test map when I'm when I'm testing that way it makes it easier for setting up for the next one. So I will see you in a moment and we'll test the last mod for today. The last of the mods for today is this. This is the Maxion 9000 series. This is by Conta Camigo Modding. 11.64 megabytes download and 9 slots on console. It's a fairly basic design off the back of, I think it was Massey Ferguson it says in the mod hub. No three-point link on the rear. Textures, to be fair, it's fairly flat. There's not really a lot going on. Um, I don't want to appear hard. It's just difficult after the back of the last couple of mods we just looked at. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a tractor. Um, you'll find this under medium tractors. There you go, 9000 series, 22,370 to buy it's i mean it's fairly cheap let's be honest if you just want a bit of a workhorse for whatever you're gonna be doing you can have it in the blue like so or we can have it in the massive Ferguson and red uh we've got the option of lizard or michelin under lizard we've got standards or wheel weights and under michelin we've got wides wides and weights then we've got 9130 130 horsepower the 9150 150 horsepower or the 9170 170 horsepower um, that comes in at 170 horsepower tractor with wide tyres at 28,370. Not too expensive. Does the scale seem off on that to you? Does the figure in there seem very small compared to the top tyre? It's just me, am I imagining that? Horn. Lights, sort of. Uh, no beacons, first person, again fairly basic, it's not a huge amount going on. There you go, that's it, the Maxion 9000 series by Conta Camigo Modding. That's it for today, Tuesday the 2nd of February. 2021 i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching